guys? Otterpop here. I am back at Genshin Impact. I asked... Okay, actually, before I start talking about stuff like that, I need to go through a little something. Okay, well, not that stuff, but I mean, I, I'll take that stuff too. Ah, here we go. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. I just cleaned all. Um, okay, so... I was talking with some people, well, mostly one person, whom I kind of learned about Genshin Impact from. And one thing that kind of came up was... Oh, jeez. I, I... Okay, here... Okay. Stuff like this. Wishes. So, I've never really played a sort of gotcha game in my life. I've never participated in stuff like that. I've never had an interest in participating in stuff like that. But... I was told to at least check it out. I initially had no idea. I thought these were like, you know, purchase stuff. And they kind of are in a way, but they also aren't. So from what I understand, you use your Prima Gems, which is um, something I get for a lot of, as you know, rewards and stuff. I just got 300 of them. But you could use Prima Gems to get certain characters or weapons or I don't know. So I don't really know too much how this works but i am a little bit curious so i'm gonna see if i can't do that if i can find out how to do that give me a second app wishing okay here we go um okay so i okay so i can use prima gems or i can use these wishing items so i'm not sure what the prima gems are used for exactly huh Wait, I'm confused what the Prima Gems are actually used for. I, th I was told that that would be it, but... I, I, you know what? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm gonna try using a wish. I am curious to see what I'll get. I'm only gonna do it once, because, I don't know, this is definitely not my area of expertise. Okay, well, I have the ability to wish here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wish, I'm gonna see if I get anything interesting. We shall see. Damn it's on, thank god. Ooh. Level... Ooh, I get... Ooh, Masterless Stardust. I have no idea what that's used for, but I get a level 3 sword. I think that's good, because most of the ones I have for my characters are level 2 or 3. So this... This may actually not be too terribly useful. Oh, I get more than... Wait. I get more than one? What? What? Skyrider sword. Ooh, that's actually... That's kind of cool. I'm getting a lot of this Stardust. Ooh, what's that? Emerald Orb. Cool. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Cool. What's the Stardust used for? Another Skyrider Sword. Black Tassel. Oh, that's that's a cool looking spear. Oh! Yay! I think that's I think that's good. I got a level four character. Cool. I love that. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, I got a level 3 cool seal sword. Level 3 emerald orb. Wow. Wait, so a single wish can get you like... Four, five, six, like 10 stuff? Am I understanding that right? No, uh, her weapon is a claymore. Oh, so she's a geo user. Okay. Oh, wow. I still have a lot more to understand about some of this stuff, especially when it comes to the stuff like the constellations. A maid who faithfully serves the Knights of Avonia. She joins a, dreams of joining their ranks someday. Oh! So she's an... A, okay. Cool. What is the Stardust used for? I don't know. I don't think it was any of the stuff I can use for the wishes. Every ten wishes is guaranteed... Oh, I see... I see. Okay, so... Oh, I... I see where I... Okay. I understand. I understand. I did not need to use... Well, no, because it only gave me eight. So I can either wish once or up to ten times at once. Huh. I have 14 of these. I'm gonna go ahead and wish once and see if I get anything interesting. Because, you know, I have... Plenty of wishes available, theoretically. Oh. Hmm. Not very useful. That's okay, though. I can only have four members of my party at once. 
I am curious about Noel, and everybody else has leveled up a reasonable amount. I... Hmm. I might actually switch Kaya with Noel. I'd like to level her up a little bit. Oh! How exciting! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> cool. So I have that now. Whoa. That's a cool ass sword. Yeah, I'm willing to bet I can switch that out and enhance that with something because. Hold up, can I switch it with something else? Ooh. I can switch it with one of these great swords. Doesn't really matter which. I'll switch it with one of those. Heck. Let's see if I can enhance it with at least that. Let's go ahead and use Harbinger of Dawn, Gold Steel, one of the Skyrider swords, and I will max it out. Yes. Cool. I just brought it up all the way to level 20 in the blink of an eye. Cool. Okay, so she is a sword user as well, so... Switching her out with Kai was actually a good idea. I mean, I had a feeling she used a sword. I'm not sure why, but I just kind of knew. I just, I just kind of guessed. Cool, that, um... That was something. So, yeah. I asked around... Press escape to call Paimon and configure the party. Got it. I asked Paimon to... What? I asked a few of my community members, uh, namely one that I talked to a bunch with, regarding... Um, you know, Genshin Impact in general, and, you know, the one kind of told me a little bit about the gotcha system. I was like, okay, well, I'd like to come up with another writing topic to talk about, and, you know, would you have any ideas or suggestions? And they actually suggested um, talking about... Is it the right time? Suggested talking about character clothing and designs. And that's not something I touch too much, honestly. Um... Am I here at the right time? I might actually be. Oh boy. Oh boy. So yeah, character designs and clothing are not something I talk about too much, especially because I... Oh boy. Can I... Infiltrate the basement? Oh dear. Is this like a sneaking mission? I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Wow, this is going to be an excellent, truly excellent time for me to talk, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, when it comes to character clothings and designs, I don't really do too much of that myself. Because, you know, I don't really draw a lot of human characters. Infiltrate. So can I not be seen? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna take a guess that I cannot be seen. I'm not... Hip. Oh! Okay, I cannot be seen. Got it. Uh-oh. Please nobody be this way. Please nobody be this way. Okay. So I cannot be seen. So yeah, I don't do too much with um character stuff, cause, you know, I'm uh I I, I don't really draw many human related characters. Uh, most of my characters are animal, feral, or anthro. So, you know, I I don't draw too many human characters. I and it's not that I'm bad at drawing human characters, but I'm not very efficient. It takes me probably three or four times as long to draw human characters compared to most normal individuals, I guess you could say. Oh shit. Uh oh. I'm not good. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oopsie. Okay, yeah, I did not see the guy behind me. Whoops. Okay, it's, um, it's crazy stealth missioning. Man, fighting is one thing, but trying to, trying to do a stealth mission at the same time that I'm, you know, trying to talk is, um, really difficult. Extremely difficult. 
Where do I start? Um, so I suppose one way I could start is by saying that, you know, what your character matters, what your character wears matters only if it is important. Okay. Gotta wait for him to turn around, and I'm good. One of the first things to think about is that, you know, the story and the world that your character are in are very important. There's another guy right here. This is a fantasy world, and, you know, it's... So that means, you know, there, there's a lot of, you know, fantasy clothes and intricate designs that are kind of involved with a lot of this kind of stuff. Hmm. Okay, so I have to wait until he turns around. Oh boy. I made it over here, but somehow I did. And go. Okay, I don't know how I made that, but somehow I managed to- Whoa! Are you one of the Fatui? She disappeared! Fudge. Freeze! What are you doing oh, here? No, run! Uh-oh. Thou shisa, that's not good. That is not good at all. Oh, that is so bad. That is very, 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 oh, very no! bad. We're busted! Run! What? Follow me. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. And here we go, here we go. Oh boy. Where am I supposed to... Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go here. Oh boy. Okay. I I made it. I made it. I made it. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. That was uh, not... Master ever... D. Luke, this is this week's accounts. Oh. Wait a minute. It's you. <sighs> the disaster has Hold greatly up. affected business. I, I, I have cats to deal with. Hang on. Alright. Animals are fed. And cats are no longer attacking each other, or one cat is not attacking the other. Where were we? Oh, that's right, you! I remember you. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. <laughs> um, the second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. <laughs> but aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Okay. Nice one, Venti. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who exactly? Yeah. The protectors of Mondstadt. Oh boy. Cool. Ah. There's an upstairs area. All right, Venti. Master D, look. Have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? Long story. Haven't you heard, Master D, Luke? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Liar. Oh? Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Liar is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves. Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Don't give people ideas. Sorry. Off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master D. Luke. Dubro protected us? And yet he knew that there was some odd about us. Hey, you with the Today face. Today I think I'll have a glass of... You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Ooh. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Oh? Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. Yeah, maybe a little no bit. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Uh... Yeah. Answer uh, my you question You wanna first. ask, who's this? Am I right? I've met him. He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... 
the owner of this tavern. Oh. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Dandelion wine. What a combo. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. Okay. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, yeah. I like your guts for trying to steal the holy Lyo de Hamel, even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. Yeah. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. Yeah, you remember me now? So, you and the Bard are close friends? Yeah, I only put him to huh. play once, sorry. Despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. I did, Shame yes. Shame you joined the Knights. Why? The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. Uh, that's right. I think when he was talking with Kai in that dungeon earlier, he did have some disdain towards the knights, but I'm not really sure why. I mean, this this kind of shows that further, but it doesn't fully explain why. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. Okay, now, hey. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Okay. It seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. No shite, Sherlock. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Oh? Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? We you didn't. sure you want to know? It could implicate <clears throat> you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. Do not dig yourself a deeper grave right now, That's Benti. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? Uh, it depends. Benti. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. What? Very well. Let me put on a show. Oh boy. Okay. What did I just witness? I don't know. This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Oh wow, Venti really told him the whole story, huh? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. Well... What say you, Master D. Luke? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. He might actually believe us. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde yeah. is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however... It'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. It's not the worst idea. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I like taverns. Clearly, you like dandelion. Oh, jeez, that Luke, that Luke's not happy okay. about that. Okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. Isn't it already night? Or is it daytime? Huh. Okay. Is it daytime? Ah, closes at six. Okay, so I can literally just kind of go around exploring, I guess. Let me um just kind of head out and see if I can't fight any enemies until just a little bit of time passes. As long as I at least return to Mondstadt by um like sundownish, I should be fine. Not a big deal. Okay, can I get talking about characters again? So yes, the world and story of said world does- it, it can very much impact, um, what kinds of clothes that characters wear. I mean, this- this is a fantasy story right here, so some of the- some of the stuff is going to be very intricate and, you know, very- very detailed and very- very- very something that we're not very used to. Let me stop saying very, goodness gracious. Why don't I use Miss, uh, oop, wrong one, Miss Noel a lot more with some of these encounters. That would not certainly be the worst idea in the world. I mean, ju just think about it. The very difference between, you know, our world currently and what medieval times were like, everybody of different classes wears very different kinds of clothing. No way is it already sat down. I'll just wait until the next, um, 
the next day, I think, because then I get to talk a little bit more and explore a little bit more, and I can always fast travel, so there is that. Damn, she kind of a beast. She swings around this thing like it's a massive sword. Cool. Well, that wasn't too terribly hard, hallelujah. So yeah, when especially when it comes to fantasy environments, something that is that that should be considered at least That's more like it. as often as possible is um, fashion versus you, function. Win. Okay, I need to. Why is the volume always too loud whenever I'm doing this stuff? Yes, uh, fashion versus function. So you know there there are plenty of times where you will have an outfit on a character that serves, you know, it's more of a fashion statement than anything else, which is, in a, in a way, what a lot of people in normal society today wear. Um, in terms of fictional worlds, it can often vary. Theoretically, you want to give yourself clothes, you want to give your character clothing for a functional reason. Like, you, you, you want it to have a purpose. You know, a knight has armor, more often than not. You know, are they intended to protect and guard something? Oh, it's one of you things. Well, that's okay. I'm not even sure what the, exactly what that was, but alright. Come on, lead me! Lead me! Ah, this is where you're headed. Gotcha. Have I not seen you yet? Well, whatever the case. Oh! Okay, that was unexpected. Okay. Oh, that was a little unexpected, dusty. but Best give it a spring cleaning. Huh, if it if it works, it works. And you know, Genshin in particular is very interesting because it, it brings up <laughs> Oh. Hold on. oh. Yeah, Genshin in particular is very interesting because it, it brings up something that, you know, actually gets brought up with lots of anime out there. Oh boy, that was close. Oh! Ah, space, 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 space. Something that I notice across a variety of uh, fantasy, like, stories and fantasy anime type stuff, which Genshin is technically kind of one of them. I don't I actually really want to talk to you right now. Um, and there are lots of female characters that will have, you know, if, if they're in a story like this, they will have, uh, like, battle skirts um, and battle dresses. And that kind of... It's it's not exactly completely unusual to see that kind of stuff. I mean, if you look, Lissa doesn't really have one. Uh, the main character definitely does. Uh, what about Noelle? Noelle definitely does. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like def definitely a battle skirt dress type thing. So in a way, having those sort of battle skirts and dresses kind of makes sense, because if you think about it, women in general are a lot more flexible than men are. And that's that's not to say that, you know, men are flexible, but our body types generally better allow us to be flexible. I am not one of those examples, because <laughs> I am fortunate. not very flexible. In the slightest. But across history, across various cultures, there are certainly plenty of areas where women have donned those kinds of clothing and attire, and where, you know, sometimes women would be involved in fighting just as much, if not more, than men would be. Just look at Vikings. Women were very prominent in that culture. They they would do battle with their men and could sometimes be just as effective as men could be in battle. So yeah, seeing women in clothing like this is not completely out of the ordinary, nor is it nor does it not make sense, I guess you could say. At least in a in a story and a world kind of like this. Oh, I forgot I could do that. <laughs> That's actually what freaked me up last Catch the time. wind. That said, a lot of the clothing on a lot of these characters for a fantasy anime, it, it makes a little bit of sense, but there there's lots of details and artistic flourishes in a lot of the in a lot of the clothing. And this is a world of magic, so I suppose it would be a little possible that you know 
characters might just kind of normally have access to things like these specially made clothes. I mean, you look at a character like the main character, I think her name is Lumion or something like that, and you compare her to these, um, that's right, I remember seeing this like little family over here, uh, Sage, Rosemary, and Parsley, like, these kinds of clothes are, there's similar designs between all of them, like, of the ordinary citizens, until you get into people kind of more like, you know, the main cast, the actual fighters, and the magicians, and the swordsmen of the group. Yeah. There, there are lots of clothing similarities between citizens, and then there's so many different artistic flourishes and differences between a lot of these characters. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with some of these ornate details. It's kind of what hooks a lot of people into characters, and especially to something like Genshin in particular. Okay, so I'm okay to come back to the tavern, is that what I was told? You're here! Yep. I'm back. What up? Wait, you're... Hi. Well, what? Why is Jean here? First of all, I contacted more than one person. Probably should have asked beforehand who his contacts even were. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting grandmaster. I did say Jean. A Jean you would never see, <clears throat> even as an honorary knight. Oh? What a surprise. Hi. I heard about the holy liar, but I never suspected it was you. Uh, sorry. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? Technically, we don't know. That's just what Venti tells us. That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Okay, Venti. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Uh, okay, calm down, Venti. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. No shit! I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. That was easy. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? Wait, wait, Hower, you're not a knight though. You don't even like the knights, so what's going on? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the four winds. However, okay, fair. if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago... And then corrupted yeah. by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, yeah. I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Well, no. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. Speaking of the Fatui... People would think I've lost grip um, on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. Wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Okay, calm down, Deluke. That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? Superior? Wait, what? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Sir? Uh... <clears throat> wow, um... This is really awkward. A little bit. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. How? Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The yeah. conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. Got it. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo God's power. Why? Uh, but why? S yeah. Right. They... Why are they trying to kill Duvalin, though? If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. Oh, the number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already True. managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Oh, Diluc has oh. determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I okay. imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. So then, how how do you have an idea of where it is? Paimon gets it. If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. True. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the seven nations. Okay, calm down, Deluke. Outlander, ready to go? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. What, what are we doing? Where are we going? What's happening? Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. Right. I fear this might fall short of their true intent. Okay.
I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa huh. traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of animal? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Good question. Oh! Uh... uh, <laughs> uh huh? Eh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? Oh, take what? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. How do I... what? Unfortunately, there's still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Yeah. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. Wait, what? Hang on. Put something on? Is that something I do all by myself? Question mark? Alright, if I'm supposed to equip something, I have no freaking clue. So I'm just going to go to the Fatui hideout and hope that my character just automatically puts on some kind of disguise. As a dutiful maid would. Ooh, well it's kind of cool. Some protection? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, and her sword is so much- Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty badass. I like it. I like it. So I haven't touched too much necessarily on the clothing part. Don't worry, it is it is something I will do a lot more often. Okay, nope, that's right, I have to do that. Now I'm good. I mean, that that's kind of what I, at least what I think about clothing. I'm not an expert, again. I don't particularly do a lot of things related with clothing, because, you know, I'm, I, I don't really draw humans very much. I'm just not super good at them. That said, I have made an attempt to try drawing some clothing items for some of my characters. I actually have a couple of sheets, well, kind of, sort of, a couple of sheets now, but I mean, here, here's what I came up with for one of my characters. You know, I, I mean, th th this is, this is just kind of how I imagined it. Um, this one's not even finished, it's not even drafted or colored, but here's what I was kind of coming up with for another one of my characters. Character clothing design is not my, like, drawing it is not my strong point, but I'm very good at being able to imagine it. I can imagine lots of things. Oh, that's a light. Goodness gracious. What is this? Challenge? No! I already know what happened with the last challenge. Oh, I'm in uncharted territories here. How do I get... How do I expand more of my map? I honestly forget how I'm supposed to do that. Well, I'll have to figure it out. But yeah, so again, I'm not the strongest with clothing, but I do try. I'm, I'm very good at being able to imagine it. But it's not just the clothing. There are plenty of other things like accessories, symbols, and motifs. That's... Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. He's deaf. Okay. Freeze. Oh, boy. Don't push your luck. Death, be gone. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my goodness. What are you? Windblade. Okay. All good. All good. All goody goody gumdrops. Oh, Shaisa, you, you came, you came. Cool it. Oh, jeez. Okay, how about, how about you cool off, man? Okay, stop it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something. What is that? What is that? No, no, no. let me get that. Upper flower nectar. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Well, I guess let's, uh, let's check this out. Whoa. Fire... Is it recommend that I have Electro? I think it's recommending that I have Electro for my party. Which means I need to switch out... Because that's, that's the Electro, right? Yeah, that's... Okay. Okay, so what I need to do is switch out Noelle for... for Lisa. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start... Oh, I could have Now, now I know and I could have done that from the get-go. 
Whoa, what? Wait. Oh, he's a trial character? Oh, what? Okay. I did not know that I could. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, I was talking about like uh, stuff like uh, accessories. So stuff like accessories and jewelry are not uncommon with all kinds of fictional characters. I can even think of some of my own characters that wear either some of ah, kind of jewelry or yeah, freeze. Uh, mm, or uh, accessory, accessory or jewelry or something, something along those lines. Some may wear accessories or jewelry for ancestral or sentimental value, or they have, you know, special power attached to them. That in general- oh. Oh, I see the- okay, cool. That in general can say a lot about how a character connects with their world and or the people around them. No. Hi. No! Don't eat me! What? You're- you're human? Yes. The entire floor's defenses have been broken. What? I thought it was the Abyss Order attacking. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm really torn because I'm I, I I'm I want to say I'm here for the Holy Liar because you know I'm a goody two shoes. Well, we have come for your life. Sounds so much funnier. I, I'm just gonna go with my gut instinct. How did you guys know the liars here? The place is being smart. kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me. No promises. I don't know which one of the guards <laughs> has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. Okay. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. No kidding. You, you just worry about yourselves. Okay. One of the eleven is already in Mondstadt. One of the eleven? What? Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. What? Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Who's... Number eight of the eleven goes by the name Senora. Who are the eleven? The fact that the two can run amok across the seven nations like they do is entirely because of the eleven. We need to act quickly before she gets wind of what's going on. Oh dear. Dorfus, hi. What's up? Who, uh, who are you? How'd you get in here? I'll never tell. Greedy guard. I'm not doing you any favors. Ha! <laughs> the will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafrost. I will not yield. Do I have to fight all these guys? I have to fight all these guys, uh, apparently. There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. Blink! Ha! <clears throat> okay. Wingblade! <laughs> Over here! Oh, shoot. Okay, she's kind of useless right now. Stand up to this! Ah! He says the key is in here. Shall we try another room? Gonna have to. Because, you know, we can't seem to do much else at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fight up a whole bunch of baddies. I'm definitely gonna have to learn to dodge a little bit more. Okay. Monsters, come and fight me. Dodge this! Yeah, you're not much of a challenge. Psh. Was not even a challenge. Seems like we've turned this room inside out. Yep. But no key. Time to move on to another room. Yep, time to try again. Potato! Potato, potato, potato. Oh, so sorry. Freeze! Ah, you guys cannot possibly stand up to me. I suppose I could have used like them. Oh. This room inside out, but no key. Nope. Time to move Still on to no. Room. Whoa. There's one room left that we haven't tried. Surely the key must be in there. Mm, surely it must be, but uh, we don't know for sure. There's another aspect of character and especially like story design that should get mentioned as well. And that is... Hold up. Let me fight this guy first. Or at least let me get this. Who are you? What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? Oh, I don't really get a... Um... Okay. Yeah. Did you already beat all the other guards? Yep, pretty much. 
I did kick their shit nine butts. I, I'm not scared of you. A debt collector will come to my aid. He debt collector is apparently an agent. Okay. I did deal with him already. Uh, uh, <clears throat> All right. You're free to go. Okay. Uh, I have the key here. You can head in from the hall outside, but don't tell anyone that with no promises. Hi. What are they just keeping here? Seriously. So yeah, in terms of both character design and even story design to an extent, there's also something else important that can be involved, and that's some um, accessories and motifs. Open sesame! <coughs> Ouch. So symbols are objects that represent someone or something specifically, whereas motifs are usually distinct Hang on. I'm curious. Nah, I wasted my time. Um, motifs are distinct patterns. Oh. Oh, okay. Motifs are distinct patterns or designs that represent certain you ideas or emotions from? based on. Senora's not going to tolerate oh this kind of interference in our affairs. Okay. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. <laughs> okay, this guy definitely. Oh, jeez. Oh man, how is Kaya that low already? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 don't leave. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I need, I need to be able to give uh, Kaya some food right now because he, he gonna need it. He gonna need it. Wing blade. Okay. I have to remember. <laughs> I freaking have that Luke. You're in for a little shock. And How, don't be such a brute. No escape. He hit. I need to remember that I freaking have that Luke. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Time for Ooh. retribution. Damn. That was an attack! Holy crap! <laughs> You're in for a little shock. Blitz! Okay. Oh boy. Ah, uh, she's probably in danger. How about no? Run from oh. dead. Sweet. Okay, I mean I managed to do pretty well there. Ooh. Oh boy oh drop. Oh. What? Okay. Did I did I collect it or was it not actually <gasps> The Liar? Yay! Finally, the liar Hallelujah. is back in safe hands! Yes! Where did that guy go though? He was here a second ago. I beat him. Yora is going to end you. <laughs> The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. <laughs> okay, Paimon, you didn't have to fight him. And you don't have to fight on. Fight, fight him, yeah. Huh. I'm pretty sure I do want to leave the domain. Yes, please. So yes, symbols are objects that represent something or someone specifically, whereas motifs are usually distinct patterns or designs, or sometimes even objects, that represent ideas or emotions based on a character's different perspective. I mean, take this, um, take the four-pointed star that's very commonly seen on various, or well, not various characters' clothing, um, but especially the um, the main character that we do play as, um, which is you know my character, Louis. I mean, if you look at her design alone, there are there are four-pointed stars everywhere. Four-pointed stars are also representative of the the primogems of Genshin Impact, and if you think about it, it's even in the logo itself. The star is in Genshin's logo. So, it definitely carries some importance, and is very simple, but it carries... it carries a lot of meaning for 
for for this entire world and it's become very very prominent and significant for i mean whether it's just um the character in particular or the world in general so it's 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 something to think about I'll keep this close not to mention that each of the gods and the the kingdoms that they have are each associated with their own elements as their own elemental symbols as well and a lot of those will very often feature on character clothing um and just kind of in the world in general you'll sometimes even see them on buildings and on roads oddly enough it kind of reminds me of um being in portugal um there the the, the roads all over portugal are, are tiled I guess in a way, depending on where you can find symbols of the various elements and their gods, it kind of it kind of gives you a sense of you know how much loyalty and trust that people have towards you know their organizations, their gods, their abilities, their the governments that you know they work alongside. Kind of like with the Knights of Favonius and the Fatui, even if the Fatui might be a little bit misguided. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this tavern. Let's uh, let's give the holy liar back or Welcome do something back. with it. Hey. Oh, this is the holy liar. You managed yep. to retrieve it. I did. The pattern Beats of and baddies in the process. Wind carved on the rosewood, <laughs> and the strings still feel cool to the touch too. Ah, oh, the memories. You've used this before? Did he mention that? What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. Oh? As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. How do we revitalize this In this, this condition, then? you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Uh, damn. Bards fight okay. to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Uh, is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? I don't think so, Paimon. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. Okay. The Liar itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. W what? I don't know Relax, how to fix instruments. it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. And you think I can help with that? Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Great! Try to use it on the Holy Liar. I'll see if it works. Oh. Oh, snap. It completely changed. It worked as expected. This Damn. youthful glow. Holy moly. Praising yourself? Really? Paimon. I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our Seriously. traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. Yeah, how do we do that? I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Okay. Suffering alone in some deserted place. Right. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. Yeah. This is not something thing. that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. Let's find them and see if we can find any more of these. When you get the teardrop crystal, yeah. please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Leave it to me. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Indeed. Let me come up with a song for you. Okay. <laughs> Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? He's a bard, Paimon. Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? See? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. R uh, what? Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. Doesn't okay, Paimon. Really? You're really gonna this be like that? This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. Whoa! What was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. Right. Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular object was very rare. It was a vial which contained the Animo God's breath. Oh, damn. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? 
Yes. Yeah, Anyone like with it. an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. <laughs> Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it I out as well. Can I think of something a little different? <laughs> They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. Hmm. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the wow. Fatui are yet to find the real one. Wow. Whoa, you guys are insane. Agreed. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Uh, I guess. Paima will give you a discount on them if she finds any. Because Paimon's just great like that. <laughs> wow. Sure. You can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. Wow. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find. Wow. That's generous. Let me cook some food. Yeah, I hear the word relic and I think of something... A slight bit different. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I watched a video not too long ago from Salmonella Academy about dead body hijinks, and one of them actually focused on Pope John Paul II, I believe it was, and how there were some relics made with um, his uh, biological essence, like, you know, some hair and blood and other kind of stuff. So I heard the word relic and I thought of something completely different. <laughs> So I've been talking a lot about character design, character clothing, accessories, motifs, stuff like that. And again, I'm not exactly an expert. It's just I have a good idea of what I imagine whenever I think of character clothes. And I do have enough of an idea when, you know, topics like that come up. One of my favorite things that I love thinking about, though, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to characters and designs and whatnot, is actually colors. Colors are so freaking fun to play with. I love using colors when it comes to associating them with designs and personalities. And sometimes it's even fun to turn the tables a little bit and kind of give them a personality and a design that kind of that almost clash with one another it's it's kind of fun to do that sometimes but and, and keeping in mind that every single color that's out there can be interpreted in very different ways a single color could mean something to two very different people not to mention that varying shades of a single color you know take uh, take red for instance you could have you could have like you know vermilion you could have crimson you could have like a cherry you could have like a red orange something like that there there are so many variations about no wow these guys are i'm an idiot I fully recognize that I'm an idiot, and I mean, I'd love to go over even some of the, some of the most, I wouldn't say commonly associated, but, like, there, again, all kinds of colors can be paired with all different kinds of personalities and specific emotions that, that often ground a character in that are the first thing that people think of when they think of said character. Let's spark things up. Okay, come on. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. Oh, okay, that was sweet. Cool. That was not too Whoa, terribly difficult. These will come in handy. So yeah, I'd say the color red is most often associated with emotions like, you know, anger, aggression, uh, love, passion are definitely two other popular ones. Ambition and energy are also two commonly associated personality and personality traits with, um, with the color red. And again, th this can be varying shades of red. And technically speaking, you could take the same shade of red and somebody and two people could interpret those very differently. Whoa. Oh, I didn't e I I didn't even see this guy. Orange can be kind of a weird color cuz it, it it's not always quite so obvious, but at least in my mind, character traits Character traits that I have often associated with the color orange are, um, and you may, you may absolutely disagree with me on this, but the, and these are just my personal thoughts and interpretations, but I've always thought of like independence, um, insecurity, enthusiasm, and creativity were uh, some, some of like the traits and emotions that could be associated with the color orange. Again, 
You can absolutely disagree with me on that. These are my How personal fortunate. interpretations, but they're also kind of based on interpretations that lots of other people have held as well. Whoa! Oh, gee, sums. Cool it. Don't get frostbite. What's the hurry? Oh, geez. Prepare to be blown away. Oh, jeez. I have to get out of that fast enough. Jesus. Ooh. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, getting out of there, getting out of there, because I don't Let trust it that. Okay. Oh, jeez, uh, my car. Come a little closer. Ooh, crap on a cracker. Come on. Really close. There we go. All right. A reward Sweet. on the road. Paimon didn't think we'd find the volunteers in a place like this. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Yeah. Wow. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. In Sweet. my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think yeah. too much about it, and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. Sure, that's one way what? you can think about that. <laughs> don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision, and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait, you had a pet tortoise? That is adorable. Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Ooh, whoa. Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? Nothing strange what? about you it. Too? Paimon's just being weird. See, I mentioned red, orange. I think yellow was next. Um, I've definitely in the past associated yellow with uh, with cowardice, with optimism, and um, yeah, fudge. It's just hard to remember s some of the stuff. I mean, just general happiness, and uh, funny enough, actually, a couple of other things that I've associated with um, the color yellow is stuff like um, anxiety and, you know, um, intellect. I've I've definitely gone the wrong way. Yeah, that's me not paying attention. <laughs> so yeah, I'm. Yellow is actually a lot more versatile than people think. It's 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 kind of interesting. Green has definitely often been associated with, I suppose you could say, the very sin of envy, and, you know, just, just, just envy in general. But it can have plenty more meanings, and, you know, and envy and deceit can be two of them, but I've also associated it with um, growth and balance and nurturing, because, you know, it, look at the ground all around you. There, there are plants everywhere. It's all, it's all green. Like, why wouldn't you associate the color green um, every now and then with, you know, something like that? Blue tends to be a lot more of an obvious color as well, because it's it's simultaneously been linked to both, like, sadness and despair, um, as well as calm and tranquility. Uh, you know, fe feeling blue is just a general turn of phrase more than anything, but then you look you look at the water and you look at the sky and very often it's just very calming and very tranquil, so it's it's no surprise that those would have similar kinds of associations. Blue is sometimes also associated with uh, things like wisdom and trust. 
uh, but also like, you know, coldness or lacking emotion has also been a common one. Violet is not one that people can often explain or identify, I guess you could say. And un understandably so. That's why I've often tied Violet with being a, an, a, an almost said an element, a sort of color and representation of, you know, something mysterious. Okay, I'm gonna have to go way around this area. Oh, or I could just use this. It's also been often associated with, um, and th th this is kind of an interesting one. Per the color violet is often associated with royalty, which doesn't seem like it would be a personality trait, but sometimes it's it's not quite... It's not, it, it, it's not exactly what it's Friends, like, but keep up with in, in a weird way, royalty can be seen as a sort of, um, as a, like a personality trait or like a, like a status or an occupation. And again, purple is just very often, uh, can often be very representative of that because purple is such a unique color. And that's another thing that purple can often resent, purple can often represent is, uh, uniqueness and, um, Bet you can't keep up with me. Yeah, just 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 being and having a unique character of sorts. Sometimes purple also has a little bit of a representation of things like you know loneliness, introversion. My sister is home, and there she goes. My dog, I mean. Oh, I can reach it! I can reach it! I can reach it! Yes. What is that? What is that? I'm not sure what that is, but at the moment, I don't trust that. Oh, wait, I didn't even see that crystal. I would very much love to obtain that. And boop. Good to know that fire somehow destroys electro crystals and allows me to obtain them. Hmm. I've seen weirder stuff. Now, believe it or not, there's, there's a little bit of a difference between using the colors of well, I say colors of sorts, of gray, black, and white, because they do each carry their own varying meanings. Uh, before I actually talk about that, I think brown is actually another interesting one to talk about. It's not one that people think of very much, and some people think of it as a very dull color. I, on the contrary, happen to kind of love the color brown and some shades of it. Burnt Sienna is one of my favorite shades of brown. It's, it's usually seen as this sort of like like this lighter brown with an orangish hue. It's it's very nice. I often see brown as something that kind of represents a more like grounded nature. Yeah, because oh. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I think I was talking about brown. Oh, it, it, it's 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 association. It's frequent association, I suppose I should say, with the um. Ooh, all right. I need to switch around my party just a little bit. It's frequent association with the element of earth means that you know, groundedness and strength and nature are very common associations with the color brown. Sometimes tranquility as well. Um, but sometimes can there can be like you know negative emotions and isolationism can be associated with brown as well. I... Okay, I should switch Amber. This will be interesting. If I'm gonna need that high of a party level. Now to get on to... Ooh, wow. Now to get on to a gray, a black, and a white. Door of Resurrection activated, huh? Oh, it's a moving platform. Yep, it's a moving platform. Okay, so black, black and white, and gray. So gray is often, it's kind of an interesting color. It's one that I've often definitely associated with uh, things like uh, maturity and I guess indifference would be one way of saying that. Oh boy, let's see. Bada boom, and Bada bing, bada boom, there we go, all done. And here we go. Alright. Prepare to be blown away! Yeah, that's what you get. 
That's what you get. Oh, Shisa. What is that guy doing? Okay, well, at least I managed to take care of the witchy fish. Okay. If I can't. Don't be such a brute. I, I pressed the wrong character. <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay, we got this guy. Freeze. Okay. <laughs> Good power of combined elements. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. The bonds to your come here. Yes. <sighs> We're done gathering. That was hard. You didn't lift a finger. It's too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Not quite. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. True. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently pro- What an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed Persona Grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Shneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. Gray tends to be seen as a lot more of like a neutral color. Um, one that's kind of more reserved and mature. Why would you? Oh, no, I was trying to reach. Oh, oh, man. I was trying to reach that so I can get the animalculus. I've also seen gray associated with things like indifference and isolationism. Uh, kind of similar to... Um, I forget what color I was also talking about it with with it earlier, but again, sometimes the same emotion can apply to multiple colors. It's it's very, it's quite varying. <laughs> oh, that's right, I need to go this way. I don't even know how many enemies I'm gonna have to fight in order to open that single chest. I can at least get around most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Oh. Quite the fun. Didn't, didn't have to go through any of them whatsoever. And then, of course, there is the color. I'm not sure what just happened there. Then, of course, there is the color of black, which, you know, yes, a lot of people will associate with negativity and darkness and whatnot. Um, but those are not the only things that black can be associated with. So, yes, it's not just the dark, the dark. So yes, it's not just the darkness that one considers for character personalities, um, but it can also indicate even other, like, positive-related personality traits. Formality and sincerity are kind of two of them, but, I mean, yeah, there, there's kind of no going... There's no skirting around the fact that black is often associated with darkness, oppression, death as well, and... Plenty of other things as well, but those are the big ones that come to mind. And then, of course, on the flip side, you have the color white, which often, I kind of like what this character wears, the, the main player character, um, often relates to purity and innocence, are very common interpretations of white. And even, I'd say in certain cases, elegance as well, similar to how some, in, in some ways, black can be a representation of a sort of formality in a sense. White can be very similar in, uh, a reward on the road. In, in, that, in that respect. And, you know, white also has a very simplistic nature to it. That said, white can also be sort of representative of a sort of emptiness, void, as well as, you know, simply being boring and naive. Uh, 
I'm not sure what is going on with that. And I'm not sure where I am. But I have ended up somewhere. So yeah, just because two characters can have the same color does not necessarily mean that A, the colors have to be representative of the personalities. Is that how I do that? I'll keep this close. Oh. I figured that out quick. I don't know how I didn't figure that out with the other one, but... Uh. Not to mention that characters aren't just limited to one color scheme. Or one, one, well, I guess you could say just color in general. I mean, look at, look at this character. I, it's like a white or a cream is definitely a major part of her outfit, but she also has, you know, a little bit of light blue, a little bit of dark blue, and a bunch of gold as well. That kind of tells me a lot about her character. Hello, Statue of the Seven. I have some, uh, I have some more animoculi to give you. It's not going to do anything, but something is better than nothing. The combination of primarily white or cream with her design, uh, little little bits of blue here and there. Um, gold is definitely much more prominent the second most prominent of the colors, I would dare say. Putting all that together, I would imagine that this main character would definitely have more of like a, a sort of pure personality and definitely, I mean, based on their purifying abilities, that absolutely makes sense. They definitely have a sort of noble and loyal side to them. And I'd say given the blue, a very, a very, a very like, calm and focused. And I'm sure that that's the same with the male version of the same character. That's only my guess. But still. I mean, Amber, she just screams red, obviously. Um, I'd definitely say that her red is closest to Crimson, which I personally like to associate Crimson a lot with um, either like passion or ambition. And I definitely think that she has both of those. Not to mention the, 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 the little ribbon on top definitely is somewhat symbolic, almost of bunny ears. <laughs> or maybe not intentionally, but that's what it comes off as. And bunnies are kind of known for being a little bit innocent and naive. and but, but for also being, you know, very, very cute and almost in their own way, like exuding happiness and she does have a little bit of like white and gold in her outfit as well i mean just look at the emblem on her outfit so she definitely has a lot of passion and determination and ambition there's no doubt about that and she's also a bit young and then you look at somebody like lissa's character and it, sure purple is often representative of the element of electro and that's a big part of you know who she is as a character but she also is a little bit mysterious in her ways. She also has a lot of white, so and the combination itself of white and violet screams kind of a very a very noble and righteous personality to me. And then you got someone like Kaya, who there's definitely it's a combination of like brown, violet, and blue. I definitely see him as a bit mischievous and a bit more I guess um, almost you could say introverted and immature. Okay, no, 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 not immature. Um, yeah, de de definitely, definitely a bit mischievous. Um, but I mean, his his hair is definitely a darker, duller shade of blue. So, are you interested in going on an adventure? I'm good for now, thanks. But I should check out the Adventurers Guild at some point. But I mean, you you look at the rest of the you look at the brown, or a lot of the brown hues on his on his pants and his. His, his general outfit, especially on the lower half, and, you know, I, I still think that despite his mischief and despite his position, he is still very grounded in ways, and, I mean, evident by the fact that he uses multiple techniques in order to sort of get his way, like when he tricked the player character in Paimon in searching for that treasure. Yeah, he definitely has a bit of a more mysterious and unique personality. There is no doubt about that. And yeah, like I said, mischievous, but grounded in his own unique way, I think. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's there's really nothing wrong with that. It's 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 cool to see such diversity amongst these characters and that a lot of their designs and a lot of the colors associated with them seem to be seem to follow similar patterns. 
in terms of their personalities. Like, I, f I feel like I can just see that, and that's absolutely intentional. Not saying that you have to do that, but I personally think it's strongly recommended that you at least do that a little bit with character Bet designs. You can't keep up with me. What's this? Investigate. Oh! Got some more food. I think I've been fighting and I've been talking long enough, and I guarantee that this is gonna be a long episode because I know I spent a lot of time. I also put together a little bit of like, you know, information and sort of script, I guess you could say, because I thought that that would be a better idea, and then I ended up going way more in depth into it than I anticipated. That is that. So I will probably go ahead, I will end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And a huge special thanks to my patrons who allow me to keep making this kind of content and to get exclusive access to all kinds of other content on my Patreon. Uh, general early access, you know, behind the scenes stuff, uh, work in progress, stuff that the public doesn't always get to see, you know, more stuff like that. That's It's going to be linked down in the description below. So. Yeah, please do consider checking that out because, you know, all the support does mean quite a bit to me. I must not have clicked on a proper quest because I've just been wandering around and talking at this point. Hmm. Well, tis what it is.